The film starts by introducing a young girl named Su Jong, who is meeting with a police detective named Won Ho. Su Jong already considers Won Ho to be like her uncle, so they have a very close relationship. On the other hand, Won Ho is a determined narcotics detective with a strong ambition to capture the biggest drug dealer known as Mr. Lee. However, Mr. Lee is incredibly mysterious, and there's hardly any information available about him. This leads Won Ho to intentionally seek out Su Jong, as she claims to have known Mr. Lee during her days as an addict. Su Jong informs him that she will meet Mr. Lee at Yongsan Station the following day. She offers to help Won Ho by letting him know what Mr. Lee looks like and invites him to the Yongsan Station lobby at 9 p.m. if he wants to find out. The next day at Yongsan Station, Won Ho waits for Su Jong while watching news about the death of a prominent political and economic figure, the CEO of a shipping company named Lee Huck Song. According to the news, he died from a heart attack, but many people have doubts about the cause. As time passes, Won Ho begins to worry about Su Jong's well-being because he cannot reach her and she hasn't shown up. Then he receives a message from Su Jong containing a photo of a parking lot, urging him to hurry there. To his shock, he finds Su Jong covered in blood and rushes her to the hospital. As Su Jong is dying, she manages to write a symbol related to Mr. Lee before taking her last breath. Some time later, Won Ho is summoned by his superior and receives a stern reprimand for using a girl as bait to gather information about Mr. Lee, a mistake that led to her death. Despite knowing that Mr. Lee is extremely mysterious and notoriously ruthless, the case involving Mr. Lee is being handed over to another team because of this incident. Upon hearing this, Won Ho insists that he will continue to investigate and capture Mr. Lee because Mr. Lee took the life of Su Jong, whom he had regarded as his own niece. The following day, a woman named Yanok is seen heading to an old factory for a meeting. However, just as she's about to enter the factory, there is a sudden explosion from inside. Luckily, Yanok survives and rushes to the police station, where she requests to meet with the special narcotics team. Won Ho takes charge of the case immediately because he knows that Yanog is very close to Mr. Lee. He becomes even more determined when Yanog agrees to provide all the information about Mr. Lee as long as the police can ensure her safety, considering Mr. Lee is a highly dangerous individual. Yanog also confirms that the bomb explosion was Mr. Lee's doing, as he aims to eliminate anyone he no longer needs and who might pose a threat to his new plans. However, Yanog didn't expect Mr. Lee to go this far by detonating the factory, which resulted in the deaths of the executives who were going to hold an important meeting. There are even rumors that Mr. Lee has also eliminated Huck Sung, who had been loyal to him for several years. Before continuing the story, Yanog asks Won Ho for some time to eat because she has requested her driver to bring her diabetes medication. Meanwhile, the police are evacuating the drug factory that was previously exploded, and they find many casualties as a result of the blast. Among the survivors, they come across a man named Yang Ruk and a severely injured dog. Yang Ruk had been inside his living quarters in the factory, which was quite far from the center of the explosion when it occurred. Back at the police station, Yang Ruk takes a break to eat but suddenly collapses and passes away. This shocks Won Ho and his team greatly. After an investigation, it's revealed that Yanog died from poison in her medication. Unfortunately, the police hit a dead end as they can't find any evidence or link Yanog's driver to her death. Won Ho is left puzzled by all these events, but he receives a call from his team informing him that Yang Ruk has suddenly disappeared. Upon hearing this, Won Ho rushes to the hospital to search for Yang Ruk. Unexpectedly, Yang Ruk is found in the morgue, mourning the loss of his mother, who died in the explosion. She had been a long-time employee at the factory. Later, Yang Ruk is brought to the police station for questioning. However, he remains silent and refuses to answer any of Won Ho's questions. It's only when Won Ho shows him pictures of the explosion victims, including the severely injured dog, that Yang Ruk finally speaks and asks about the condition of his beloved dog. Upon hearing this, Won Ho takes Yang Ruk to see his injured dog named Jindo, lying helpless due to severe injuries. After seeing his dog, 
Yang Ruck opens up and agrees to cooperate with Won Ho in capturing Mr. Lee, who is considered the mastermind behind all of this. However, Yang Ruck questions whether Won Ho can actually capture Mr. Lee, as Mr. Lee is shrouded in mystery. Yang Ruck explains that over the years, many people in the factory have claimed to be Mr. Lee. But as time passed, all those who claimed to be Mr. Lee met gruesome ends. Yang Ruck also reveals that he can lure Mr. Lee out with a plan. Yang Ruck admits that he had just returned from China to meet a supplier who was going to provide the raw materials for a new type of drug called Leica, which Mr. Lee was concocting. Yang Ruck stresses that no one knows he's back yet because he returned earlier than scheduled. Therefore, Yang Ruck invites Won Ho to meet the supplier of the raw materials from China, who will be coming to South Korea with the materials. After they agree to this collaboration, and if Lei Ka can be successfully manufactured, Yang Ruck believes that Mr. Lee will emerge, providing an opportunity for Won Ho to capture him. After hearing Yang Ruck's story and plan, Won Ho immediately begins strategizing to execute the plan they devised. A few days later, Won Ho and Yang Ruck put their plan into action, with their movements closely monitored by Won Ho's team. Some time later, Won Ho and Yang Ruck meet the raw material supplier from China named Qin Harim. At that moment, Harim had just punished his men for a minor issue. Initially, Harim mistook Won Ho for Mr. Li, whom he was eager to meet. Won Ho insists that he is not Mr. Li but just a worker. Harim eventually believes that Won Ho is not Mr. Li when he sees Won Ho's reaction to being served an appetizer, which is a human eyeball. Afterward, Yang Ruck provides a sample of Leica that has not been perfected since it lacks additional ingredients from Harim, making it incomplete and impossible to produce. Upon seeing the drug sample, Harim and his girlfriend immediately consume it until there's none left. This causes Harim and his girlfriend to become intoxicated and engage in a sexual act in front of Won Ho and Yang Ruck. After meeting Harim, Yang Ruck goes to see the factory manager named San Chung to report that he has provided a sample to Harim and is awaiting his approval to obtain the raw materials. San Chung reminds Yang Ruck that this cooperation must not fail, and if it does, Yang Ruck will bear all the consequences. San Chung also asks Yang Ruck if he is aware that their old factory exploded and killed his mother. San Chung assures Yang Ruck not to worry as he will be compensated for it, as long as Yang Ruck serves diligently and doesn't mess things up. The next day, Harim contacts Yang Ruck to pick up the prepared raw materials since Harim is very satisfied with the previous Leica sample Yang Ruck provided. After collecting the raw materials, Yang Ruck goes to the salt factory to produce Leica as instructed. And Yang Ruck's actions are still under the surveillance of Won Ho and his team. Upon arriving at the salt factory, Yang Ruck is greeted by two individuals with special needs named Zhang Jin and Zhang Yun. Both of them are highly skilled in concocting all kinds of illicit drugs. However, they refuse to work with anyone except Yang Ruck, as they consider him the most significant figure in their lives. That evening, Zhang Jin and Zhang Yun invite Yang Ruck to dine together. During the meal, Yang Ruck reveals that his mother had recently died in the factory explosion. Upon hearing this, Zhang Jin and Zhang Yun are deeply shocked and immediately prepare everything necessary for honoring Yang Ruck's mother. Afterward, Zhang Jin, Zhang Yun, and their team start working on refining Lei Ka. As time passes, the police monitoring them grow weary, as they have been working for 30 hours without a break. At the same time, a convoy of cars arrives at the salt factory to search for Yang Ruck. From one of the cars, San Chung emerges, accompanied by a man named Won Cha, also known as Brian. Brian is the son of Huck Sum, who had recently died, presumably at the hands of Mr. Lee. Brian's visit is to inspect the progress of Lei Ka production and to offer condolences to Yang Ruck for his mother's death. However, instead of accepting condolences, Yang Ruck inquires about Mr. Lee to Brian, leading to San Chong immediately assaulting Yang Ruck after Brian leaves. On the other hand, Won Ho, who received all the information about Brian, immediately checked Brian's profile and found the symbol previously given by Su Zhong before her death. 
This made One Ho instantly suspicious that Brian is Mr. Lee. Elsewhere, San Chung follows Brian to his family company because San Chung wants to convey that Yang Ruk is someone who should be protected, as he is the only one who can control the salt factory. However, when Brian learns that San Chung has followed him to his company, he becomes furious and strikes San Chung. Brian had warned San Chung several times not to dare come to his company before. The next day, it becomes clear that Lei Ka has been successfully produced, and the plan is to deliver it to San Chun and meet Mr. Li. Unexpectedly, He Reem's henchmen arrive because they had placed a GPS tracker on Won Ho's car. Meanwhile, at the salt factory, Won Ho's henchmen stationed there are shocked to see He Reem's henchmen attacking the place. When they arrive, they are even more surprised to find that all of Harim's henchmen have been killed in a battle with Zhang Jin and Zhang Yun. As they prepare to chase after Zhang Jin and Zhang Yun, they discover a bomb that has been planted, resulting in the death of one of Wan Ho's henchmen. Meanwhile, Wan Ho, Yang Ruk, and one of Wan Ho's henchmen are brought to meet Harim. Unexpectedly, Harim already knows that Wan Ho is a police officer, and he intends to eliminate them all. However, Won Ho puts up a fierce fight, leading to a chaotic situation. In the heat of the moment, as Harim is about to overpower Won Ho, Yang Ruk quickly grabs a fallen weapon and eliminates Harim. After leaving Harim's hideout, Won Ho receives a phone call from his team, informing him that one of their colleagues died at the salt factory. Upon hearing this, Won Ho immediately stops the car and angrily questions Yang Ruk, because Yang Ruk never mentioned that Zhang Jin and Zhang Yun had weapons. Seeing Won Ho's anger, Yang Ruk apologizes and explains that Zhang Jin and Zhang Yun had weapons as a last resort, as they are individuals with special needs who are often targeted for intimidation. Hearing this, Won Ho falls silent but continues with their plan, which is now one step closer to capturing Mr. Li. Some time later, Yang Ruk met with San Chung to deliver the finished Lei Ka for Mr. Li's inspection. Yang Ruk had to wait for news from Mr. Li to determine if Lei Ka would be produced on a large scale. Mr. Li would need Yang Ruk to arrange a meeting with Harim. A while later, Mr. Li sent a message to Yang Ruk, requesting him to bring Harim to meet at the station. Hearing this, Won Ho had no choice but to disguise himself as Harim. The next day, disguised as Harim, Won Ho was taken by Yang Ruk to a station. Inside the station was a corridor serving as Mr. Li's headquarters. Won Ho's team, monitoring from outside, immediately called for backup to prepare for any unexpected developments. Meanwhile, inside the station, Won Ho and Yang Ruk were unexpectedly met by Brian, who claimed to be Mr. Li. Before allowing Won Ho to enter, Brian asked San Chung to assign Yang Ruk a task. Shockingly, the task Brian had in mind was to eliminate Yang Ruk, as he believed Yang Ruk was no longer needed. On the other side, Won Ho engaged in a business discussion with Brian regarding the ongoing production of Lei Ka. Won Ho used this opportunity cleverly to gather information about Brian's crimes, including his involvement in his father's murder, the drug factory explosion, and the killings related to Lei Ka. Brian admitted to these actions, but was uneasy about how much Won Ho knew. So, Brian quickly called his men to get rid of Won Ho, fearing that he posed a significant threat to Brian's future. Amidst the tension, a worker suddenly entered and announced that Mr. Lee had sent something for Brian. When they opened the package, they were shocked to find San Chung's hand holding a ringing cell phone inside. As they tried to retrieve the phone, two individuals threw smoke bombs and launched an attack, leading to a chaotic battle in the area. As Won Ho successfully subdued Brian, suddenly, two mysterious individuals shot him and whisked Brian away. Soon after, the police arrived and secured the location, detaining all the workers who turned out to be underage teenagers. Brian was deeply shaken when he saw San Chung's lifeless body, and he was shocked to realize that the two enigmatic individuals were Zhang Jin and Zhang Yun. Shortly thereafter, Yang Ruk appeared and confronted Brian. Yang Ruk questioned whether someone like Brian deserved to be Mr. Li, revealing his own identity as the true Mr. Li, 
He had masterminded this entire operation to lure Brian out, as he knew Brian was responsible for blowing up the factory. Young Ruck believed that Brian's actions had gone too far, as he had eliminated key figures in the organization, including Young Ruck's father. Brian's goal of becoming Mr. Lee had led him down a dark path, but he was unaware that his actions had inadvertently caused the death of the woman who had cared for Young Ruck when he had no one else. Moreover, the factory explosion had also severely injured Yong Ruck's beloved dog. Determined to make Brian pay for his crimes, Yong Ruck intended to inflict upon him the same suffering his dog had endured. Meanwhile, Won Ho and his team continued their search for Yong Ruck and Brian, but their efforts were temporarily halted when Yong Ruck called Won Ho, claiming that Mr. Lee was at the station lobby. Rushing to the station, Won Ho found Brian in critical condition. Seeing Brian's injuries, he was reminded of Yong Ruck's dog, Jindo, and hurried to check on Jindo's condition at the hospital. However, when he arrived, Jindo was already gone, as Yong Ruck had taken him earlier. Won Ho remembered calling the dog Jindo, but it didn't respond. It only reacted when he called it Leika. Finally, Won Ho realized that the person he had been looking for, Mr. Lee, was actually Yong Ruck, and that's how the movie ends. Moral lesson from the story, sometimes trying to catch Mr. Lee can feel like chasing your own tail, just like how Won Ho almost missed the obvious connection between Jindo and Leika.